Mike, I'm going to start this out on a weird note for you. Shireen compared you to a howler monkey tonight. Now, let's rewind to the beginning of the season. She loved watching monkeys have sex with each other. So do you think there's some like weird tones there underlying? <laughs> No, I definitely don't. <laughs> Shireen uh, has been in a five-year relationship with this amazing guy named Andrew. He's such a good guy. Uh, no, we're just really, really good friends. Do you take that as a compliment, though, being called a howler monkey? I do. <laughs> Absolutely, I do. I mean, I mean, it, it was a perfect description of me. I am loud. I am in your face. Uh, I, I don't necessarily know that I would ever throw feces at anyone, but as far as... <laughs> <laughs> as far as... Uh, the attributes of being loud and stuff, yeah, for sure, fit me perfectly. Now, going into the finale, did you know you were going to walk away a millionaire? I had a pretty good idea. Uh, I would never say 100%. Um, but I would say that, yeah, you know, I felt pretty good about it. And then especially, like, watching the edit, the edit. I mean, unless they were just setting me up for something insane. Uh, the edit, you know, I felt like it kind of, you know, was it for my favor. So, yeah, coming out of the game, I really felt like I had won. There was a middle part before the, before the uh, show started that I was like, oh, I'm not sure. But then watching the edit, I was just kind of like, yeah, I think I won. Now, you were voted in to get on that second chance bus tonight. So are you a little bummed out that you won at all? Absolutely not. No way. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I, I can't wait to play this game again. But for me, right now, like this trip, this trip, not next trip, not 33, but this trip right here, it's too soon for me. Yeah, because my body still hasn't fully recovered, and it's been eight months ago. So, yeah. Now, I will say, sitting in the audience, I had a really good vantage point on your mom. Oh, geez. And I wish you were there to see it. Everything you were doing, fists were in the air. She was standing, cheering, clapping. People were walking up, giving her hugs. Jeff Probst's mom walked over, introduced herself, gave her a big hug. What did this mean for your mom? Because from my vantage point, it meant everything to her. Uh, I mean, I can't say what it meant for her. I can tell you what it meant for me, for her to be part of this experience. For me, it was everything. I mean, that's the woman that, I mean, obviously birthed me, but that <clears throat> it was patient, prayed for me whenever I was being a dumb kid, you know, like took me to church, you know, took me to family things, made sure that there were people that were involved in my life that could help me and change me and mold me. Uh, and all of that, and, and, and she worked three full-time jobs and graduated school, you know, it, it, how do you not respect that? How, how does that not linger, leave a, lot, a lasting impression on, on your life, even though it is my mom, you know what I mean? Like, she's somebody who I look up to, who I respect, not because she's my mom, but because of what she's accomplished in her life. And speaking of family, yeah. big moment for you was that auction with the letters. How close were you to actually bailing out on that? To not getting the letter, oh, like, it, I, I stopped playing the game for like literally two seconds. And that's when I made the decision to go and get the letter back. What I should have done is I should have stuck to my guns, got the advantage, and then went to Dan later and said, here's your advantage. We just couldn't let Carolyn get it because we're still blue collar. But at that point, Rodney still flipped or had already been begun the process of flipping. So... Would it have mattered? I don't know. Yeah, you know. yeah. You bleed blue collar. I mean, looking at what you're wearing and Tribe America, which I'm gonna say, not my favorite merge tribe name. Was that your idea? Where did it come from? Uh, just to save the person who actually did come up with the idea. Yeah, I totally came up with it. All right. Yeah. So, uh, advice to a future player having won the game. Two things. Don't always focus on work and scramble the most. I mean, that's, it's a simple formula. It's not executed well most times, but yeah, that's what I, that, that's what I would say. Two last questions yeah. for you. At the end of the game, when Jeff first came to the reunion show, you put a lot of your victory on God's shoulders. Yeah. What was your connection out there with God? I mean, every single day I would get up and I would go down to the beach or I had another spot that I would go and spend at least 30, maybe 45 minutes an hour in prayer and praise and worship and uh, <clears throat> just recon...
All right. Yeah, just reconnecting with my maker. It's huge for me. Uh, because there were some times whenever people wouldn't talk to me. A couple of days would go by, nobody would even say anything to me. So those times that I was in there with prayer and stuff, you know, I was not only just praying to God, but getting strength from Him as well. So, yeah. All right, and how did you land on Survivor? Exactly, how did you get on the show? I've been making Survivor videos for 10 years. Uh, 11 now, actually. Never sent a video in, never did an application, none of it. Just made the videos. And uh, one day my buddy was like, hey, are you ever going to, because I was griping about a certain player. And, uh, and he was A like, certain survivor? Yeah, a past survivor. Who was it? Uh, I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep that one to myself. Okay. The, the, I'll, I'll just tell you this. It was somebody who has quit the game twice. Hmm. And we'll leave it at that. Uh, and so I got really upset about that whole process. My buddy's like, what are you going to do about it? I'm like, well, I'm going to make a video and send it in. He's like, well, let's go do it. So we went and did it and sent it in. And here we are eight months later. All right, can we end this with a happy dance? Let's do it. Uh, all right, do the happy. No, you're doing it with me. Oh, I'm doing it with yeah, you? All I'm right. Doing it I don't know how it goes. You got to show me. All right, let's All right, Rodney. Or, I called you Rodney. Rodney. I heard, uh, you sound like the Rodney impression of yourself. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. It was nice to meet you.